Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and today we're going to spice up the Avatar tank. How are we going to do that, man? Legos. Legos? Yep. Alright, so over the last month we've been doing some videos on these, and we've kind of released them all in a row here. So the last couple of videos you guys saw from us had to do with this uh, Avatar Angel tank, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the first things we did is we kind of did an update on everybody. Then we did a video on how we made this little planter. You can see this guy's doing totally awesome in the back. That was actually quite a few weeks ago, but you guys probably just saw that video a few days ago. And you can see the bottom's turning a little red. That's actually a good sign. The roots on bamboo actually are red. So that'll start turning red and sprouting out a bunch more of uh, you know roots and everything on it. So that's totally cool. As these guys continue to grow here, I'll turn the light on. As they continue to grow, we will continue to cut them and put them down there and I'll show that long one here. And we'll put the links in the description if you missed these previous videos. So these will all be full of those kind of um, propagated clippings of the bamboo. So then the next video we did, we did the Avatar Islands, right? Yes. Now these right here are Avatar Islands. Um, we also added some more Anubius here to this big tree, tree of life as you call it, right? From like the Avatar the movies. Tree, yeah. So, the, what's what'd you say? The home tree. The home tree, yeah. Which unfortunately gets shot down on the first movie and everything. But um, we did add some Anubius. This thing went through some stuff when we uh, had to leak in this other tank and we had to take it down, we had to move it. But a lot of these Anubius really have started to come back. They are doing amazing. Look at the roots on that one going right in the middle. I mean, wow, it's incredible. Uh, look at that. I mean, that is so neat. I have a feeling in the next few months, you're not even going to even barely be able to see any wood. I think it's going to be full of roots. They're doing so good. This one we added last time when we did the Avatar Islands, and you can see that the roots on that guy are really starting to crawl around and stick to the uh, wood. So we're not going to add any more to that. We're just going to let those guys go. They're doing awesome. Now, the previous video to this one that we did after that one was these guys, these Avatar Islands. And I think we got, I think we left them out of the water a little bit too long. Yeah, I think so. Probably could have put them in sooner, but we wanted to make sure the glue was dry and everything. So we did lose some leaves on some of these, but out of the, like this island here, out of the three we put on, you can see the rhizome. So the rhizome is like the body of the Anubius, right? That's actually still totally fine. We did lose a couple leaves. Again, this is a few weeks. Even though you guys saw this video just a couple days ago, this has been uh, two or three weeks since we actually did this. So you can see many of these leaves have survived. And most likely, because they're so close to the lights, these islands are going to turn completely green. Just kind of like this guy here. Kind of like that was like a white clay pleco cave. And so these guys will just end up being covered in you know, algae and look totally awesome. I can't wait actually, till they start growing all the algae and stuff. Isn't that gonna look cool? Yeah, it'll look neat. So here's the middle one here. This one had the big rhizome along the middle. And again, you can see some of the leaves turned brown, but the rhizome is still green. And some of these leaves got dry and they kind of bit them off. But again, this is two or three weeks after we did it. And you can see they're doing pretty good. Even this little guy over here is doing really good. So they will continue to grow. I love how that one looks with the straight top. Now you can see that there is some stuff growing on these lines and these lines are a little more visible so we're definitely going to have to reach in once in a while like a little you know green scrubby and just kind of clean these lines and i think that'll make them less visible too they certainly aren't very visible not as much as the old ones but that's that uh floral carbon that worked out really well here's the other thing we stuck some of the roots down in here and you can see this one here in between the bamboo did kind of start coming up so we'll kind of see what happens there Something may sprout out of there or something. Now, there wasn't really any rhizome left in the ones that we did, but there was like these big balls of roots that kind of broke off. So we'll see what happens. They may or may not sprout out of there. But uh, after a few weeks, looks like there's something kind of trying there. This is the third one. This one did the, the least good, right? <laughs> out of the two small plants we put on this, this one's doing quite well. Just one leaf kind of died here. Um, this little guy right here on the other side looks like it's probably not going to make it. There's a little bit of root, a little bit of green rhizome, but, and that's okay. You know what? Out of the, what do we put? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out of the eight plants, looks like only one didn't survive. So lesson learned, don't leave them out of the water as long, even though it takes 24 hours to cure. Um, we probably could have 
put them in the water after just a few hours, right? And yeah. then let them cure in there and then put them in here. So going forward, that's what we'll do. And if you didn't see that video again, we'll put links in the description of the last two videos we did on this. But overall, I'm very excited to how those are working out. Um, we're just gonna try to spend, you know, every few weeks cleaning the lines there. Now, Jack had an idea because for Christmas and your birthday, which is only a month after Christmas, you got a lot of Legos, right? Yes. Now we went to Columbus and we went to the Lego store. We put that in our Columbus Christmas video and all that. And between me and Pamela and your grandmother, you got a lot of Legos, right? Yeah. You love them. They're awesome. Totally awesome. Yeah, they're pretty fun to put together. Fun thing, creative outlet. So let's go over here and just take a look. How many How many would you say pieces total in all of these? Well, if you combine them all, it's around 4,005, 4, 4,050 probably. Yeah. Something like that. 4,000 Legos. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Pieces. Pieces. Let's take a look over here and see. Wow, guys. So these are Avatar Legos from not only the first movie, but the second movie as well, yeah. right? This one and this one is from The Way of Water, and then the rest of them are from the original one. Wow. So let's let's just take a quick look through. So a lot of these we're going to kind of put on top of the tank to kind of decorate and everything. But I think some of them we're actually going to use some of this floral carbon and we're going to hang, obviously. So this is from the first movie here. This is the uh, like the chamber where they go in the Avatar things, right? Yeah, and you could uh, open it here. That is so neat, man. There. Yeah. yeah, there's Jake. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Don't they have, they have like his wheelchair and everything too, right? Yeah, they do. That's his wheelchair. And then that's uh, Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, What's her name in the movie? Uh, I forget. Dr. Something or other. Something like that, I forget. Yeah, super cool. Jane or something? Yeah. So anyway, that's the little pod. That's totally awesome. What came with that? Uh, which was, uh, it came with this, the helicopter, and uh, this island as well. So we may put the helicopter up on the on the island, or we may hang it from the light fixture. Not sure. And then these guys. They rotate too as well. Like yeah, I mean these are extensive, man. Yeah. These are totally cool. <clears throat> these guys are the banshees from the first movie. These guys are so awesome. These we're probably gonna hang right with yeah. string. Gonna hang these guys maybe up there, kind of coming down off the light fixture or something. And then there's Shrock Mach two. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. So that's the big one that he jumps off of his banshee onto to kind of show that he's a leader. Love that scene. Love this dude. <laughs> that thing is huge, man. Yeah. It is so awesome. That one we're probably just going to put in the back with his wing spread or something. Maybe have probably. Jake on the back or something. Middle or something like that or the back. Yeah. yeah. So neat. He's so neat. He's my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, I mean, totally one and of the coolest parts of the whole movie. The Elu from the second one. Cool. Yeah, so this is the one that um, the kids wrote on, and like the kids the, wrote on and stuff. Kind of like a mixture of like a seal kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. That's kind of probably what it is. Kind of. And then this is the one that the adults ride. Yeah, it's one that Jake rode. It's like a big alligator with wings yeah, kind of thing. Cool. You can move. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, those are gonna look awesome up there. Yeah. And then this right here, General or Colonel Quaritch. Yeah, you can open them up, take them out of the suit. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at <laughs> He's so angry. Yeah. <laughs> that, was pretty, that was pretty fun to make. It does a lot of little pieces. Yeah, that was like, and so this is the big, huge, like, Thanator, I think it's Thanator type of thing with the six legs. So then her, she rides on the back of this. Yeah, yeah. And so she joined up with that when they called on Yahweh to, like, help them in the battle. Yeah. So she... Oh, cool gets on his back and that's how she actually kills him right yeah unfortunately though this guy dies yeah sad. but it's cool but that's how the movie ends she kills him on the, in there of course if anyone has seen the second movie we want to ruin, ruin anything but yeah. totally totally takes a turn for things and then uh, this is kind of like the forestry and you can actually connect so here's what's cool is they made it so you can connect them with all the different sets so this piece of forestry and this one are two different sets, mm. but they wanted you to buy all of them, or at least most of them, so you can so put them together them to make a giant scene. I think you can do it with this too. And then you can also put Tarak Mach Two yeah, on the can. top of this piece here. But we could put yeah. the other guy up there, so they all connect basically. Yeah. So we're gonna have a lot of those guys covering the top of the tank, a lot of these guys, 
And you know what? You know, everybody who watches our channel, they know as I, that I work, I worked as a drug counselor and also I work now as a tobacco cessation counselor. And a lot of times people say, hey, get the adult coloring books or puzzles or games on your phone. I usually recommend people get Legos, right? Yeah, because they have um, like the Titanic, which is like the humongous thing. Yeah. They have like adult stuff. They have like the typewriter you can make. Like they don't just have kids stuff. They have like... Oh, I know tons of adults. Look at when all the COPA laws went into effect. All the adults that were doing Legos on YouTube were freaking out. Yeah. Remember all that yeah. stuff a few years do, back? Like, there's like the Globe one. There's a Coliseum. And it's really cool, you know. But I do recommend it if you, if you move for yeah. a hobby or something. They're an awesome creative outlet, just like making models. You know, when I was a kid and I was your age, Legos weren't as big of a thing. Right, they were just like purple, yeah. purple and red bricks that you snapped on <laughs> the dinosaur. And occasionally stepped on in bare feet and screamed oh, oh. and fell on you. But your your grandfather and I used to do with your uncles, like models and stuff, you know. Yeah, like but th ones. that's basically what these are like now. They're like models. You took several hours. You said total time to put all these together, uh, four to 5,000 Took you what, like forty to sixty hours or something? Probably, and this this like mobile base thing probably took me the most time. Yeah, it's probably about five hundred pieces. Super cool and detailed together. though, but such an yeah. integral part of the movie. Like you don't just want to do all the animals and cool scenes. Right. This is probably my favorite because Quirch. Like cool. I, yeah, that's cool because it's like a suit. I love his face I and it's so can, detailed. Like, the suit, the arms and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Such a big part of the movie. Yeah. Such a big part of the movie. So this is gonna be really fun, guys. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we actually have to wrap this up because we have plans and everything tonight. Um, but we just wanted to do the introduction of this. Obviously, love Legos, so many people do. Great creative outlet, great coping mechanism. And we thought that we would combine these together, kind of the Legos and the aquarium because they're two creative outlets that we enjoy. And instead of them just kind of being away in your room for nobody to see really, we're gonna put them up here. So the next time, we're gonna break for a commercial here and stuff. And when we come back, what you guys are gonna see is, you're gonna see what we think of. Basically, we're gonna fill a lot of this area here with these Legos. We're gonna hang some from here, we're gonna put some here, and just kind of incorporate this all, fill this whole kind of area up. This is our big dining room table where we have our fish tanks and stuff. We got, uh, Pamela's got the old uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff out, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that whole area, where you know there will be bamboo that continues to grow, but you know we're gonna kind of fill some of that in and put these guys up. So that's where it'll be, guys. So this is really turning out to be just an amazing, awesome, fun project. The angels are doing fantastic. They're looking absolutely gorgeous. The galaxy plecos looking absolutely gorgeous, but they get photobombed all the time. There's one of the males right there. Look at that. Look at the spots on that guy. So love, love, love how this is all going. So when we come back from commercial here, guys, we're going to tell you what we uh, came up with and uh, show you what we do with all these Legos. So we'll see you here in a minute, right? Yep. Bye-bye. All right. There's Trudy Chacoon. Isn't this cool? That the little, the little uh, controller actually moves in there too, right? Yeah, that's neat. <laughs> and we got that. Uh, this is the Roto Wing. Yeah, we put it through the, the doors. Super awesome. Put the little shield on there, dude. We just wanted to show Trudy. It's a pretty neat uh, helicopter roto wing thing. All right, we're gonna hang that guy up. All right, so there's the first piece, the roto, what's it called? Rotocopter. Rotocopter, roto wing, something like that. We got the little rotors kind of tilted, tilted, but uh, we'll kind of see where it settles. We're hoping it kind of faces sideways. It's kind of swinging around. It might kind of move depending on the vent and stuff of the, the furnace and stuff like that, but if we have to, we can kind of persuade it one way or the other. We just basically use the same floral carbon, use some hooks there. We've got uh, two more hooks. We're going to put the banshees on and then um, just kind of put a little drop of super glue on the knot after we tied it just to make sure it stays good, but super neat. All right. So that's how far we got here tonight. We got all the aerial stuff up here done, right, dude? Yes. That was kind of hard. This line is really kind of hard to tie and everything. Um, but we wanted it to be as cool as possible. So the other thing we notice is every time the heat turns on, there's like vents over here in the floor and stuff, and they kind of come up around the room or whatever, and then these things move, which is actually kind of cool because then they have like a little bit of motion all the time, right? Yeah, they move, they don't just stay still. Yeah. They like move. So the helicopter is doing awesome. That's in the middle. And uh, then we put, uh, how do you say your name again? Natiri. Natiri on her uh, Banshee dude over here. We kind of, 
made his wings, uh, or her wings, I don't know if the Banshee's in jail. It's a, <laughs> uh, kind of made them like swooping so you can see how they kind of move. I think it's actually kind of cool that they kind of move a little bit. So she's got her little hair joining up, um, you know, with the connection there. Isn't that cool? These guys are so neat. So she's over here on this side. And then what we decided to do with here was this Tarak Mach 2, and I forget what his actual... Uh, Leah, uh, Leah or something. something like that, yeah. So he came with the whole little setup. So we put his setup here on top of the light, and he's got like a clear little pedestal. So he supposedly is like, you know, flying over. Right. Yeah. And then the scene where Jake becomes the next Tarak Mach 2 or whatever. And he jumps off the dude. Yeah. So we got his dude hanging here, and he's jumping off his guy onto the big guy. Because remember what he said in the movie, he said, uh, you know, the biggest guy in the sky has no reason to look up, so it he just flies above him. Surprise attack, so we got him. <laughs> but here's what, I mean, we keep combating with this theory, but I'm pretty sure he was the chosen one. You say he's not, but I think he was. I think he was just smart enough to go high enough, because I remember him telling his banshee, he goes, you're not going to like this, but... He ends up going back to his banshee later, but anyway, that's what it looks like so far, guys. We just have some little hooks there, and um, some of the line, and it's not even that noticeable. So that's as far as we got. One of the things I did notice is this bamboo's getting pretty long, so I'm actually going to trim this bamboo right here. I'm going to take it off and put it back over here into the planter. So then we'll have two in the planter. And again, as these bamboos continue to grow, just like the video we did a few days ago. You know, we're going to keep putting it in the back. And so you'll have a whole bamboo background, and then you'll have these guys coming out. These guys are filling up this. And so next, probably going to do this tomorrow night, but it'll only be a second for you guys. We're going to put the land guys and everything here. All right, dude, it's the next day. We finished it all up. We moved some stuff around. So show us what we got here, dude. Let's kind of take it from the top right, here, man. So here is the, the Taruk Makto, or I forget the name, but here's the dude. And then we have... <laughs> Sully jumping off of his banshee onto him because yeah. he is the chosen one and he's jumping on him it's to claim It's totally weapon. awesome how so we decided to move him up more and we yeah. kind of pre-position this and we uh we uh tied uh, Sully to the uh, yeah. tail that was the easiest thing to do so he looks like he's jumping on him yeah that thing is so cool I still can't get over how it is cool yeah. that thing this guy and his mount and stuff is like what 1500 pieces alone yes that I mean, was nuts yeah. and um and then this this There's the chopper the, the chopper get to the chopper no but that's she takes the uh the thing she takes the base and she drops it because they have to escape yeah and then there's let Jake. me go up on this base again real quick just to show i forget her name in the movie but sigourney weaver right yeah. so this comes off there's Sigourney. What's up, Doc? And then she's the doctor. And there's like the little the bed, the chamber, the little tea tea avatar tea chamber. Tea Isn't that cool? There's a lot of detail in there. <laughs> Total detail, yeah, man. That, that chair actually swivels that she's on. Yeah, look it at this. Rotates. She can like look out the window. Oh no, Jake, help. Don't go out there without your mask. So Jake's got his mask on. Yeah. There he is in his wheelchair. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the little wheelchair. That they did a nice job. That was cool, yeah. And his you hands can, go on the wheel. You can even like, roll it. It's very detailed. It's very impressive. And, uh, you can put I'll the put this back on here. There's the lid. There you okay, go. cool. So that's sitting right there. And then we'll kind of... These, there's these two now. There's General Quaritch. Sorry, yeah. I, was on the, I was on the thing. So this is his little guy here and that he his, gets into. Uh, AMP suit. And then... He has his, his, they didn't, so he has a gun in the movie, but I don't know why they didn't have it, but it's a chainsaw. Because it's Lego. They're I like, just, we're not having the big gun. I mean, it is, it is cool still, but I wish they kind of had it. It's kind of a vicious chainsaw. He's like, I'm going to chop you yeah. up. And then he has his uh, machete there. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And, um. Look at him, he's so angry. Yeah, Calm down, buddy. He's angry. I'm going to kill all the Navi. Yeah, he, he's just, <laughs> he's just an angry dude. And then, she um, is. There's the Thanator, I think it's called. I she, love this scene where she comes on the, the Thanator. She has, she has her uh, uh, bow and arrow. Yeah. And uh, she eventually kills him. And um, that's a very cool fight. Shoots scene. him through the chest. Yeah. And then, and then um, this opens. Let me just show that. That's pretty neat. I like that. She said you don't want to leave it open because... No, because he, he won't be able to breathe. not realistic. No. 
but he he doesn't he does. have a mask, so he will just suffocate. <laughs> All right, so then then we kind of and then we show the other guy up here. And so this is her as well, but this is her on her guy, yeah, and you guys saw that one. Scenes. This isn't just right. one big scene. This is the scene where they're dropping this, they're fighting. These are. And since we hung those guys up, we took their um, kind of mounts and we just put them on the light fixture in the back to kind of. And did cut that other bamboo yeah, with that some, bamboo we in there. We need some just random forestry back here because it really looks cool. Well, there's Norm. We forgot about Norm. Oh, uh, Norm on the horse. Norm, know. what's up, dude? Let's get the horse. It's cool too because their hair joins in just like it does in the movie see how their yeah. their pony tail tail thing joins it connects, in yeah. and it connects them to to their animal see she's got hers like that too connects them to their animal way to go lego with the details yes. and then these two are from with the way of water the second one yes and it's kind of spoiler you probably should have seen it by now but whatever yeah um, <laughs> this is the uh, skidwing and then this is the elu and this is the water kingdom King dude, and that's his. Uh, that's his daughter. That's his daughter. Yeah, yeah. she's the one that likes Jake's. Uh, she son. rides the smaller one. That's what the kids ride, and then this one is the warrior's mount, is what he says in the movie. Yeah, this dude Which is, is awesome cool because he kind of like he kind of goes in the water and he he flies out of the water. It's like a big flying alligator thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Love it, and they each come with their little mounts, and their mounts have like, like little, little fish. fish on the side, yeah, but we already have a fish. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that neat? I know I'm going into all uh, in and out of depth. The focus is kind of, but there it is, guys. All together, well over four thousand Lego pieces, huh, kid? Yes. Isn't that something? And so we trim the bamboo. We've got bamboo in the corners in the back, and as this bamboo continues to grow, if it gets too tall, we'll trim it. And like I said, a couple of video videos ago we kind of showed how we made this bamboo thing so it'll be a line of bamboo across the back then a line of the lego jungle then a line of bamboo again right <laughs> and then more of the characters and stuff so this is this is my favorite is these two when i saw this i knew we had to get this it this is pretty cool i like his suit it is pretty cool. yeah there's actually the a battle lot of, yeah there's actually a lot of detail you can see his little it's he's got like a little screen in there and everything screen in there. Yeah. And they didn't give him like his gloves to make it like the arms, but that that's really detailed. So yeah. it looks pretty cool. And, this um, is super super awesome job, Jack. That's all I got to say. Super awesome job. So there's the top. There's a, let me back up even more. There's the whole tank together, and apparently some of these flowers and stuff glow in the dark, right? Uh, yeah. Actually, we got to test that. So, well, we're gonna have to turn them all off. What we'll do is we'll come back when all the tanks turn off, and we will turn all these lights off and stuff kind of see how this looks at night too just kind of see but yeah i got the avatar islands there and yeah, we just hit this light so we'll come back look at the angels they're digging it they're like what's what are you guys doing up there it's crazy doing all this stuff huh they're looking so good aren't they look at the blue coming out of them today wow so they call them blue avatar angels so anyway that's one of the reasons we did this is because we thought hey they're blue avatar angels and of course the avatar people from pandora are blue and since you had all these uh it's, it, technically i mean it's this is why we didn't just do one battle because these are the floating islands and yeah. it's like it wouldn't really match because they're on top of them so yeah. basically we just did a conglomeration of scenes yeah but it's pretty cool because it's, it's, it's totally cool it's dude fun, it's, it's really cool now because this is the highest it goes yeah the helicopter, all the way to the top he's at the bottom right there yeah plucking them. yeah so we'll see about adding more and stuff, but you know what we'll do at the end of this video, we're gonna kind of show, there he's out right now, so we'll show him. That's one of the males. The big male is inside here, and we think he has eggs, and there's a the female's tail right there. And uh, the Anubius on that tree is just cranking, man. So hopefully the Anubius kind of comes back on these avatar rocks. If not, we'll glue a couple more on there. They're gonna start growing stuff on them anyway. But we'll come back here at the end of the video, and we'll just kind of show what this looks like at night and we'll show the lights twinkling because those stars do twinkle too a little bit and we'll turn everything else off so we'll see how it looks awesome i can't wait to see what it looks like at night man great job dude okay it's been a couple hours now all the lights are off we just have the uh black lights on in the green lantern tank over there they shouldn't affect anything so go ahead and just uh shut those off man let's see where we're at here now oh wow so look at that so here we have it's back all the way up man so it's kind of neat because 
the background light. So first of all, I got them on the twinkle setting. So that's super cool, right? We got the under gravel lights on the vases changing color, going through the random thing. And the back, you know what's cool? The behind the tank lights backlight everything. So everything looks like a shadow. The, you can see through the windows too. Yeah, oh, oh the windows are the thing. Super cool. And then you said, so these glow, oh, these do. Look at these flowers. These flowers glow in the dark, man. That's so neat, man. Isn't that all cool? These, all these flowers back here. Yeah, dude, they all glow. Those That's sprouted so ones cool. and then these bulbs over here. They don't glow as bright, but they still do. I bet if you turn this one off. Let me turn off. Hold on, I gotta find a remote here. Oh, it's over here, hang on. Looks so cool. Let me turn off those backlights completely. Oh, there we go. Oh, now they really glow, huh? Oh, that's so cool. They really oh, glow a lot. These bulbs back here, dude. And then you got the under gravel lights coming up. Let me just back up. Through the vases, see that? And they're shining up through the top. Oh, and they're like lighting up the bamboo spirals. Look at that, dude. That is so neat. Isn't that crazy? Where's the uh, thing for the coloring for these, these bulb things? These it's on colors. top of the uh, Green oh, Lantern sorry, tank. Yeah, sure. You want to change the color of those? Yeah. We're going to make it. Don't make it flash. No, no, it's <laughs> That's incredible, dude. Those things really glow a lot. What color are you going to make it? It is. Just blue? Sure, yeah, sure, Looks pretty awesome. That's like purple. That is so neat. Oh, there's green. That looks cool. The JD shows up. Yeah. That looks cool. That looks cool. Look at that. Love it, man. Love it. Dude, there's so many different things we can do with so many different colors. And... But it's really cool how those things glow and how those lights shine through the bottom. Like you come up here and see these guys up here at night. I'm gonna turn the- uh, Blue looks the coolest. Yeah, blue is cool. Does that kind of symbolize it? Oh, it doesn't it look kind of cool that they're standing on the glass? Yeah, the because the light kind of hits them. Yeah, it doesn't look real. Super neat. It's really cool that those things glow. Let me turn the background lights back on. There they go. That lights it up so much. Yeah, it is really cool how the lights shine through the windows. How neat, man. This really turned out being a super fun project. Super fun. I love how the Banshees look too. And, and especially at night, like you said, you can't see the line. Jake looks like he's jumping on to the dude. Yeah. This dude looks so awesome at night. Look at him. Wow. Over 4,000 Legos, man. Really cool. I like how she's banked like that, too. That looks awesome. Super, super, super cool. Love it. So how do you think everything came out, man? You like it? I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool, yeah. I dig it, man. I, super, super neat. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We did a few videos on this tank in a row, kind of taking you through this. Obviously, if you haven't seen them, check out the playlist button down below. You'll be able to see how we did um, the planters, the avatar rocks, and the Legos and everything all in a row. Um, you know, the biggest thing is we just we just want to push the creativity. You know, we just want to continue to have fun with this hobby and push it and make our tanks as fun and unique as we possibly can. And hopefully we inspire some of you guys to do the same thing. You know, that's what it's all about, just having fun and being creative. So thanks a lot again, guys. And, uh, you know, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the upcoming things. We're going to be working on the uh, Green Lantern tank next. We're going to be doing some bamboo planters on the lid of that one and some other things. And then we're going to be working on the big mamma jam around the corner there because we haven't messed around with that much. We did a few videos kind of on what's been going on with it, but we're going to be uh, really kind of starting to work on it here um, in the spring. So see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.